picking it out. Um, you wrote, that's what I love about Sunday. And that was a big, huge number one hit for you and for Craig Morgan and for uh, your co-writer, uh, Adam Dorsey. Yeah, Adam, right? Adam Dorsey, yeah. How, how did that, that – uh, you've told me the story before, but I don't know that you've – well, talked uh, about it. You know, food, as me and you know, food has to be a, a part of, of what we're doing. And it was the day we wrote this song in 2004. I was driving up to Nashville that day to write with Adam Dorsey. And we wrote at the same company, Jody Williams Music, which was a Sony uh, Tree mm -hmm. co venture. But Josh Turner and Liz Rose, uh, I'm trying to think who else was there. Taylor Swift hung there a bit you know if she was young but anyway um 2004 i'm going up and i did have a cell phone my tech i was tech savvy enough to have a cell phone by then andrew i don't believe Adam that dorsey calls me up on my way and said hey man let's meet where are you and i said well i'm about at pulaski tennessee he but said let's meet in franklin at that chinese restaurant that you like at the buffet and I've got an idea for you. I want us to, I think I've got something good. He said, so he was driving from spring Hill and we set a time and we sat down there and I thought, man, that's what I love about Sunday. I couldn't get that song anymore. Cause that was my life. I mean, he sort of nailed yeah. me. Like if you're going to present me with a title that I've lived and I, I could write and I really knew about it. I mean, it was, and you could too, man. It was speaking our language yeah. and the, a, you know, it's a movie up in church and it's a and movie. Dude. Sort, it's... He sort of had a melodic idea, which was kind of like a James Taylor. And he, he told me he, he really was a fan of moon over Georgia and Shenandoah. Adam was so in a, in a cool way, I think he sort of honored me and sort of brought in kind of the smoothness. I mean, like the James Taylorness of what I would have brought in melodically and, course i added melodically to it but he he kind of had the chord pattern and the melody for the verses yeah and we just went to town on it man we we started writing right there at the table and i think you know he was writing stuff down i was writing and when we got to jody's that afternoon we finished it and we kept on going i wish we had recorded it we just like comedians we were making up silly stuff at the yeah. end of it, like me and you do. And, yeah. um, but I knew it was good. I knew it felt like a good solid song, but I couldn't have predicted that it would be a five week number one. Like Cause I've something. written a lot of songs about mama and the good Lord and church mm -hmm. and trucks and, you know, Chicken Friday night and lights yeah. and football. And I thought, well, this is probably one of those hometown, you know, yeah. eating at grandma's house kind of songs. Yeah. Um, didn't really know if anybody was cutting any like that, but it was time. It was past 9-11 had come about, and those songs that really uh, went back and had like a, if not a spiritual nature, a good um, home and, and calming and country-type nature, right? 